Mark, thank you very much for coming down. It's great to have you here. Thank you. So you started off with a, a passion for music and mm -hmm. you maybe thought that was the direction you were going to go in. Mm -hmm. And you've actually landed in food and drink being your sure. main specialism. I know that's not, yep. not everything you do, but yeah, yeah. But how, how, I mean, do you think that was just an organic process or was it something that you just really enjoyed working with those sorts of companies and, and just kind of embraced it? Well, it was quite interesting. I mean, I think from being where I'm from in Scotland, you know, mm -hmm. the plate is beige and it's maybe mostly fried stuff and coming to London early sort of opened my eyes a bit. Just as a slight aside, I started to really enjoy going to restaurants, you know, seeing all the different food types. And, and I think the fun bit for me was like, this was another world and a, and a class system as well. You've got 20 years of uh, digital marketing experience, is that right? Maybe more? Yeah, well, I guess a, a mix of brand marketing, General digital, marketing. social, maybe slightly later on. But yeah. yeah, it happened quite early in terms of the digital stuff. What was it like working at, at Yo Sushi? My, sort of role in my brief was make make us cool again. So we did quite a lot of good things, um, you know, to, to try and do that. So, you know, huge food overhaul menus, bit of branding, but then we got into social media um, early. I think people quickly started to believe in social um, because they could see us standing out from the crowd. You know, we were picking up more awards, we're, we've got more followers, we've got more mm. engagement, you know it's really going extremely well. Um, it just meant that your C-suite were believers. Mm -hmm. And then once they're believers, they start asking mm -hmm. about it and they start getting curious about it. And mm -hmm. they want to see it in marketing plans and what are you doing? And, yeah. and at that time, you could stand out organically really easy. So when you were sending out a promotion that you'd send out in a newsletter with a dwindling database in terms of engagement, you were getting a high engagement yeah. you know, from, from all the posts that you put out. Yeah. It seems like a lot of times um, it is about getting that buy-in from the C-suite, from the, from the sort of the older generation who mm -hmm. are in those positions of power. Mm -hmm. I think it's, um, I think Gary Vee said this about, you know, the minute that that sort of generation gets replaced with more the digital native generation, mm. suddenly everybody's just going to fully embrace yeah. digital. But at the moment, there's still a lot of resistance to it. Lately, we're said in our industry in food and drink, and mm. I mean in restaurants and coffee mm -hmm. shops and all that, we're really a generation behind. The CEO is a 60-year-old guy, usually, mm -hmm. um, who doesn't get social. Mm -hmm. um, he's not on Facebook, therefore no one else should care. Would you ever consider hiring someone in a company that can't use email yeah. or can't use a computer? Mm -hmm. But it's the same with social. It's mm -hmm. just part of life. Yeah. You need to know the basics of mm -hmm. all these things because the way it's moving is it's moving to personal brands and it's moving to companies with faces mm -hmm. rather than just brands. It's almost that if you don't have a good social presence, a good digital presence, yeah. then it's really impeding your ability as a company. Well, I think one of the biggest problems is the lack of measurement. If you put the right measurements in place mm -hmm. to then do brand tracking, yeah. what do people think of you? You actually look at the comments that are going on and you answer them. They might be quick to respond on TripAdvisor, but they haven't looked at their Facebook comments mm -hmm. for four months. We've got more tools in our box to reach more people I just think so many people are using it wrong. What, what would you say the most common mistakes you see um, brands making mm -hmm. in the food and drink space uh, when it comes to their, their sort of digital offering? It's just all far too much promotional. It's all about now, 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 the next day, the last 15 minutes. They're menu engineering to see how much cost they can take off the plate mm -hmm. to then make the commercials work. Mm -hmm. And that just, just, just makes me cry yeah. inside. Most people don't have the level of investment to then help them make the right decisions. Yeah. You know, to invest, mm -hmm. they'll cut rather than invest. In today's world, mm. those sorts of mistakes can be fatal for a business. I mean, we're seeing it all the time at the moment. Yeah. Really big yeah. institutional businesses yeah. just disappearing off the face of the map. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because they've just made really poor choices and they really haven't kept up with the times. Well, I think there's a few bits. I mean, death is coming quicker than ever, you know, for, for brands that aren't getting it right. 
most people should have been, or all people should have been thinking like an e-commerce person mm -hmm. from day one. Mm. What, what would you say that the brands that are really doing well at the moment, yeah. or keeping within food and drink space, yeah, yeah. what do you think it is they're doing right that's keeping them you know, going from strength to strength? Taking marketing seriously mm. and brand seriously. They've dug down, they've got through some hard times. If there is hard times, they've maybe got sort of more understanding investors and partners mm -hmm. that keep investing to know they'll come good. The obsession with great quality product, the obsession with the right site, the obsession with the best people that they could possibly hire. Mm -hmm. So they're bringing in marketers that are well versed and well trained but not only that, they're not then beating them down to their way, mm -hmm. they're learning from them. Mm -hmm. But it always starts at brand. You know, yeah. how does your culture, your products and services and your reputation knit together? If you're a small brand, if you're a startup, you're an emerging company, mm -hmm. what would be your sort of top uh, bits of advice for them to get a bit of traction with their digital marketing? You're being brought up in this age. So I think already, usually, the people running the business, founding the business, you know, the people that you're hiring, you'll be more obsessed and more switched on to, to hiring someone that is digitally minded. And you'll be thinking about that more. The age that we live in now with all the iPhone apps and you could run everything from your phone, it's not that hard. Mm -hmm. So I would invest as much as you can in the amplification of your business. How important do you think content is for brands? in terms of um, you know, photos, videos, blogs, mm. articles, newsletters, all that sort of thing. Mm. Do you think it's, it's very important to, as part of, you know, your sort of marketing suite? It's everything, mm. you know, and I think when you think about how we consume things now, we're basically content consumers now and experienced consumers rather than ad consumers and product consumers. So it's moved up a level, you know, you, you want to have the text, you want to have the image, you want to have the photo. Hopefully if you're starting a business, business, you've got a partnership, you've got, you know, one of you is kind of the here and now, and then one of you is like the future mm -hmm. person. Cool. Awesome, well thanks very much for coming down. That's and um, Yeah, if, uh, if anyone wants to kind of check you out, they can go and find the podcast. If yep. they want to work with you, obviously they can drop you a line. Marketing. Yep. yep. Get in touch or on LinkedIn. Cheers, Mark. Thanks so much. Yeah, we'll Thanks. see you again soon. Cheers. One, two, three. Listen.